Hello and welcome to another Bleistift video and today I want to show you Stadler's The Pencil. Um, yeah, it was part of Stadler's premium segment and from what I can tell now in 2022 you can't really buy this uh, pencil anymore. Um, you can see it's the part of Stadler's premium uh, range because the the clip has a similar look here but even though this yeah this clip here is made from some sort of um sheet metal or uh, uh, some sort of metal um this clip seems to be uh, metal under and plastic on top <clears throat> yeah, I think the first thing to say is there's no denying that the pencil has quite a bit of similarity with Faber-Castell's perfect pencil, you know, with a sharpener here and an eraser at the back. And there are also a posh versions, I think I've shown them on my blog, um, they're, they're cheaper versions. Um, yeah, but this is my favorite for so far. They are also similar um, pencils from other companies like uh, Kum, for example. Uh, yeah, let me just get one. Okay, I'm back. Here's a similar product from Kum. Uh, so we've got um, an eraser here to cover the tip. So they all work a, a slightly a, a bit different. We've got this here, and there's a sharpener built in. Which you can take, which you can. Um, you haven't used this one in a while. Do I pull it out now? Yeah, now you pull it out. I think uh, from all of these, uh, I like the Castell 9000 version the most. I also have the, the Posh one. Um, the Posh one is very heavy and the clip is not very strong. So when I had it, on for a special occasion once and then I, I think I had to something fell down I had to bend down uh, the clip is not very strong the thing is very happy heavy it fell out of my shirt pocket um, touched the floor and and a bit chipped off there were also uh, previous versions uh, there were just a cap more or less I'll show you some, just a moment. It started from Faber-Castell um, with a set. Let, you sh let me show you this set. Okay. Uh, it started with uh, this pen. Yeah. Started with this set. And there's just a cover here for the eraser. Okay, yeah. You can screw different erasers in here. Uh, I bought this set, it's not available for a long time. I bought it long ago on eBay. Back, back then, Graf von Faber Castell stuff was still cheaper. <clears throat> and actually, Sean, you know, our friend and pencil blocker and musician, Sean, who unfortunately uh, died a while ago he was very keen on them so I think at, at some stage I did a swap with him so um, because you can't get them anymore with this course so I said I can send you mine uh, my unused ones if you send me some used ones to put in my box so that's how I ended up with, with uh, those that were used by Sean for uh, creating his uh, wonderful music Yeah, and here are the the eraser bits you can screw on in the end. So, yeah. So the whole thing improved a bit. Um, <clears throat> so then there was this one. I don't take it out because, you know, it's silver or silver plated, so it's gonna uh, tarnish. I, again, in the past, this was fairly cheap on eBay. Now these things are expensive. Uh, I've got another one that's very scratched that, that I got uh, used for a good price, but I'm not sure where it is. But 
this was the follow-up so it's just a pencil cap in the end and yeah, here's an eraser uh, there's no sharpener in this version yet uh, you can also use it as a pencil extender when you need it <clears throat> and that then then led to those so this is the posh version um, yeah And uh, there are also things that go up in price all the time. I don't know whether you can see it, but yeah, once it fell down, not very strong here, so uh, yeah, it chipped. So we got an eraser in this version. Yeah. And we got an eraser here. So other companies uh, started this. Uh, this is a, a cheap version. This one sells for two, three pounds in the UK. This one, last time I was in Germany, it was five, six euro in Germany. But in the UK, it's more than twice as expensive. Um, yeah, and some other companies have similar products. Um, they always work a bit different. And this, this is Stadler's version. Um, it was very useful during COVID times because this... Yeah, this is for touch screens, so you can just use it on a touch screen. So, yeah, I have this in my pocket. I go to a photocopier from my employer, for example. You know, we have hundreds of employees. So if I don't want to touch the screen, I could just use this to interact with the uh, display on the photocopier, for example, to get my printouts. So if this is for a touch screen, where's the eraser? Yeah, the eraser is here, and so this is quite dirty because my son used it the other day. And uh, the sharpener is in, in here. So you can activate it basically by twisting it. Now this is open and any uh, sharpening uh, waste would come out of this little window. Yeah. And you can close it again yeah. and put it back in your pocket. <coughs> Excuse me. So very nice. Um, it's painted plastic, which means, and you can all, probably already see it here, you know, the plastic, uh, the colors are slightly different. Uh, the, the plastic underneath the silver paint is a gray color similar to the silver, but I think there'll be a point where the plastic is gonna use the paint is gonna use up and it will look different. The clip is fantastic, you know. You want to clip it into your pocket. Oops, sorry. Yeah, you can press here while you clip it in. Uh, very nice. The pencil itself is a Wopex type pencil, so it's extruded from uh, a plastic and wood uh, composite material. Unlike other Wopex pens, it's round and black. And here it has those um, those lines, those grooves inside, which make it look a bit nicer and posher. Okay. I think in the UK the official price with with refills was twenty five pounds. So, um, yeah, not not cheap. I do like Vopex pens. They do that nice. the pencil uh, one problem you have is if you sharpen them very very much and it's a very very fine point and I use to write with a very low angle and you, you press a bit harder the last bit of the tip can easily break off um, but I think most people don't write as small or don't sharpen the, the pencils as, as as much as I do. So I think it's not really a problem for most people. Okay, yeah. I wanted to show you this uh, Stadler, the pencil, which uh, doesn't seem to be sold anymore, at least not in, in my part of the world. And yeah, thank you very much and all the best and goodbye. <laughs>